Oh, that's so weird. What? Why is it zero two? What's going on, my fellow knights? My name is Gallant Gaming. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are back in Fazbear Frights roleplay in Roblox, and today we're gonna be getting all of the badges in the game. But before we get started, make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of my daily videos. And whenever you're buying Robux or Premium, use star code Gallant. All right, the first badge is Error Freddy. This badge is probably the hardest to get because it has the most steps. So what you want to do is go ahead and teleport over to the gas station. And then what we're going to do is we're going to walk to that tunnel over there where the train tracks go. So it's on the same side of the road as the gas station, not over there by the train station right here. We're going to go over here and we got to hit a big button. Should be easy enough. All you got to do is press the button. How hard could it be? So we're going to watch out for the train. And here's the button right here on the other side. It's a big red button. You can't miss it. We're going to press it. You hear a door open near the pizzeria. Now we're going to teleport back to the houses. And we need to get on the roof of this house. So uh, the easiest way is probably just to do that. And then do that. Very easy. Then we're going to jump inside the chimney, and you might have already seen it, but if you, like, angle yourself right in here, you can see a little key card on the ground. All you got to do is pick it up. So, let me click it. There we go. We have the key card, and now we have to bring it behind that pizzeria. So, to save some time, I'm just going to teleport to the pizzeria, and then we're going to run outside and run into the back where that little cave is right there. And then that is all we need to do. There is a little bit of parkour inside, but it's nothing too complicated. So now we're just gonna run in the back. Easy peasy. Uh, I thought that was like a hand in the ground. There's just a rock. And as you can see, I have been collecting a lot, a lot of scraps. Uh, I didn't know if a badge will require them in the future. So I've been collecting them every chance I could. And now when you get in here, you want to click the card into this little this little square thing. Keep trying it. It will take a second. There we go. The door will open very slowly. And here we go. Now we're in this weird laboratory area. And here's the parkour. Don't worry. You can't die in this part. Uh, so, oh, but you can fall and have to restart. So watch out for that. Here we go. And now we have to do, oh, whoa. We have to do this like weird jump here all right you know what hold on i'm about to i'm about to cheat i'm gonna cheat we're gonna switch over to a child to make this jump easier uh oh well, you gotta you gotta go i uh, i do uh actually while we're here you do want to make sure you have a flashlight that'll come in handy for some future badges uh but uh we don't need it just yet uh oh man this jump is not as easy as i remember there we go finally Finally, we got it. There we go. Uh, listen, the jumps aren't hard. I'm just bad, okay? And then we're just going to keep following the the circles. And that's it. That's all you got to do. Just keep jumping on all the different frying pans until you get to the very top. Uh, you'll know when you're at the top because you'll see this. And just go up and touch Freddy. And the badge will be yours. You'll be teleported back. Easy easy very nice good job everybody good job the next badge is called the golden chaser this badge is in the tunnel right across from the pizzeria so i'm gonna teleport us there and now all we gotta do is run into that tunnel so i am gonna speed this part up just so it's a little bit faster All right, and then when you get to the back of the tunnel, you'll see a door right here. All you got to do is run inside, and this is where the flashlight will come in handy in the beginning. Uh, this place isn't hard to navigate without a flashlight, but, I mean, you might need one. You want to go to the left and then keep hugging the right wall when you're inside, I believe. I hope. Yep, there we go. Hug the right wall. You want to find this yellow door. Go inside, and there you go. 
There is the Golden Chaser badge. Very nice. Next badge, Crystal Animatronics. This one is where you'll definitely need that flashlight. So have it ready, and we're going to teleport to the cave. Then when we're here, we're going to go inside. Uh, the flashlight, please. And we're going to keep hugging the right wall pretty much the whole entire way. So we're going to keep going. We're going to go all the way. Keep following it. You'll know you're at the right area when you start seeing crystals. Ta-da! There we go. Easy peasy. But now we do have to do some parkour. So uh, I hope you guys have your parkour shoes on again. This is the last time we have to do parkour, though. So, uh, you know, let's, let's, let's do it. Here we go. I'll try my best to do this without messing up too much. I do recommend being the child again. One of the jumps there is hard as the adult model. And then jump across, touch this little crystal, and the badge is yours. But don't reset just yet. We have one more badge to get while we're in the cave, and it's the Drip Mini Rena. So go back into the hole where you came in, in the cave, and you'll see this little tunnel area here. Uh, we can't fit in there, but you know who can. Make sure you're facing it right away because you lose your flashlight when you change character. We're going to go to main menu, play animatronic, and we're going to switch to the mini arena. Uh, it did turn us around, so that is a little bit difficult. Uh, we do have to go ahead and find... Oh, there it is. You can kind of see it right there, that little area. Uh, it is kind of hard to see, but you'll find it. I believe in you. You'll fall down a little hole, and then you just walk through, and there you go. The Drip Mini Arena badge is yours. Go up and touch this one in the center, and there you go. Oh, you'll get kicked over too, apparently. Uh, there you go. That one was very, very hard to find. Shout out to the creator for helping me with that one. Uh, the next one is Pirate Ballora. So I am going to go ahead and switch us back to a human. Uh, and now I'm going to... Oh, oh, this looks so weird. I don't belong in here. Uh, we are just going to teleport to the waterfall. And all you got to do is go behind the waterfall. Very easy. So let's just go here. Uh, let's go around. It is a shame there isn't like a sprint button on here. Would definitely help. Uh, come on. No, I'm going up. I want to go down. All right. So it's uh, best if you start at the bottom of the waterfall and just keep going over. You don't really need a flashlight in here, but the Pirate Ballora badge is over in this corner. Uh, to touch like the corner here. Uh, actually, I think it's this sword right here. I didn't see that before, but there it is. Touch the sword and Pirate Ballora is yours. The next badge, we're going to teleport to the train station, which is right here. And now we're just going to collect this. And we're going to sit on the train tracks. Uh, for this badge, Passenger Fetch, all you got to do is get hit by the train. And I did some calculating. And it appears the train spawns every two minutes. So all you have to do is sit here and wait. Maybe you could do, like, a, a funny dance or something while you wait. And uh, the train should be here any minute now and give you your badge. Oh, there we go. We got hit by the train. Stop shuffling. And there you go. You'll get the badge when you get hit. The next badge is called the Witch Eleanor. So we're going to go ahead and teleport back to the house's and, you know, the house we jumped in the chimney to get the key card. We're going to break in and go inside. Uh, it's not really breaking in. The door is unlocked. We're going to go to the back where the sliding door is. Turn right. You'll see this little skull with the Millie's room on it. And you might need to be a child for this. I don't think an adult can fit. So we're going to switch to a child. And we're going to go to this open closet right here. And go inside. Touch the broom. And which Eleanor is yours? And congratulations! We have gotten every single badge in the game. But we actually have brand new news from the creator telling us how to get Construction Freddy, the last badge in the game for real, at least for now. 
So we want to check behind the boxes in the corner of this house. Uh, you can tell it's this house because it's uh, completely destroyed. It does make sense because it is under construction. Hey, there we go. It's a little hammer. There's construction, Freddy. Thank you to the creator. I really appreciate it. Wouldn't have been able to find this badge or drip mini arena without you. Don't know why I didn't think about this for that badge. I'm kind of a fool. But anyway, let's go check out some of our rewards. Uh, the first one was Error Freddy. Wow, there is a lot. Okay, uh, here is Error Freddy right here. Very nice. This guy is uh, definitely an error. Uh, I, can, I can see why they call him that. Very nice. I'm assuming they all have the different emotes and abilities as well. Uh, it's funny that he has a glitch when he really is just a glitch. I believe, I could be wrong, I believe these are the same abilities that normal Funtime Freddy has because these are just a skin for him. Uh, that could be wrong, so don't quote me on that one just yet, but I'm pretty sure that's correct. So let's go back to the main menu and let's check out some more. Uh, let's close the skin menu. The next one is the Golden Chaser. So let's hit skin, Golden Chaser. The, oh, look, look at his face. He's so terrifying. Look at him. Ah, why does he run like that? That's amazing. Very nice. I don't think we checked out him in uh, the previous video because his model's being remade or something. So there you go. There's the Golden Chaser. Oh, boy. He is scary. All right. Who do we have? We have the Crystal Animatronics. I think everybody has a Crystal skin. Uh, Freddy has one. I saw Plush Trap had one. That is so cool. Very, very nice. He has, like, crystals poking out of him. That is so cool. Uh, we're not going to check out every single crystal because we, you know, be here all day. Uh, what about Crystal Ballora? Whoops, I didn't hit the skin button. My bad. Uh, let's go back in and skin. Oh, no, Dark Ballora? Uh, I don't know what badge this is. I'm assuming this is for the crystal? badge i don't know i don't know what what that one's for i'm sorry uh well i know i know fetch not fetch uh this one has one there you go oh uh he's kind of scary not gonna lie look at his eyes they're so weird all right he's scaring me let's go to drip mini arena next uh right here bloody paint vanished what in the world i don't think these are for badges i think they're just just there that is insane but here's drip mini rita we got the shirt and the pants very very swag very drip i don't know what the words to use there are but there you go the next one is pirate ballora so let's go back into ballora right here hey arg it's me pirate ballora i don't think she'd really sound like that as a pirate but uh, what do i know very nice She's got a sword and everything ready to steal your gold uh let's go back again wonder how many times i've said that this video uh let's go over to fetch and let's see we have og crystal fetch Ooh, i didn't see oh look at him he's adorable he's a little crystal dog he's a little crystal dog all right let's see the passenger fetch now the reason we went to him in the first place uh let's see greasy or grassy wow marble scrapped wild passenger right here there he is look at him he's got his little outfit on he's just you know ready to ride the train or get hit by it i don't know whichever one comes first uh now we have the witch eleanor so let's find where eleanor is ah, i didn't hit the skin button i'm so sorry i can't believe it i'm such a noob how could i be so foolish all right, skin, fake, glass, pink and blue, robot in the Franks. I got to see that one. Oh, that's so weird. What? Why is it zero two? Okay, well, uh, there's zero two Eleanor. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's happening here anymore, guys, okay? Listen, I don't understand. That is very cool, though. Um, let's check out which Eleanor instead. And there you go. Oh, look, she floats on a broom very nice touch and then last but not least the construction freddy badge wow 
These are some really weird animatronics. Uh, where is he? There he is, right at the end. Construction Freddy, look at him. He's got his hard hat on, he's got like, oh, he looks like he has like a bunch of different parts on. Looks like Toy Freddy, then Normal Freddy, then Funtime Freddy. That's really cool, I like his outfit as well. And there you guys go. That is how you get every single badge in this game. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The link to the game will be down below. Thank you again to the creator for helping me out. I appreciate it. <gasps> a coin. The coin spawned so rarely. I got to go get that, okay? But anyway, while we're grabbing the coin, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like and comment down below. Subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you never miss any of my daily videos. And whenever you're buying Robux or Premium, use star code GALLON. That's it from me. I will see you all next time. Bye.